Welcome to the north. This is the best place we've seen so far. But there is a dragon. We saw it, and it was a huge. <laughs> no. It was really fun, and it was fun interacting with the community. Let's go! My grandma always said we were related to royalty. <laughs> that is crazy. It's an amazing place for a treasure chest. The landscape here is just like a postcard. This is the best place we've seen so far. I mean, look at this. There's something out of like the Von Trapp family as they're coming up over the hills. The hills are alive. And you feel like you're right there in the middle of the sound of music. Wants to open. Go for See it. you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ready? 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 Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We might be doing some sneakra. Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 sneak sneak sneakers. All right, there's a scroll. Here That's we right. go. Wow. Dear Americans, welcome to the north. But don't worry, the winter is not coming. <laughs> there are no White Walkers, yes. but there is a dragon. What? Or at least an ancient dragon-like beast swimming around in the big lake Storzion. Oh, maybe that one. Yeah. Oh. You see, this is Jamtland, the Loch Ness of Sweden. And if you are really lucky, you might spot Storjurjeret. <laughs> the beast of Storjon. You'll have to help me with the pronunciation <laughs> later, Mats. Oh, yeah. I have never heard of this water monster, the Sturhur Yudit, uh, in the north. Never. I love stories about water monsters. We have one in the town I live in. His name is Wendigo in, in the lake. So and I hope to catch a glimpse. Shantashu Lagru. Are you interested in Swedish small town life? Yes. Yeah. In the rural areas around here, you will get a taste of it. Brittany, Katie, Jennifer, Mots, and Rambo. You will move in with a Ingerborg <gasps> and, her, <laughs> and her family in Oviken, where you will help out with some of the work in the community. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Apparently, we're going to be staying with a family uh, with an Ingerborg. My great grandmother was Ingerborg. Dude. Christopher, Melissa, me, and Christina, you will move in with Sam, eat some good food, and hopefully spot Storju Jarrett, <laughs> the monster. Oh, that is awesome. That sounds cool. fun. I'm ready. I'm definitely all about the small town life. I, I think it's 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 more wholesome and uh, there's a lot more to do, a lot more work ethic, and you know I just I just love being out in the country. The coffer contains a Jamtland flag. Up here, the colors are green, blue, and white, not yellow and blue. Mesmur oak mesos. Spread it on the locally made tuna broad. Ooh. A football. Hammer and nails. Dunder Klumpen, the local fairy tale hero. Hey, oh. Dunder Klumpen. <laughs> Jomtland Sungen, the national anthem of the Republic of Jomtland. There's also a family treasure chest in the coffer today. Any one of you feel anything special in the air? Brittany, <laughs> your ancestor, who fought with the King Carl XI in the Battle of Poltova, lived in Oviken around 300 years ago. The family treasure trust is yours and contains a fascinating story. Yes. I'm ready. That's so awesome. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So this beautiful place is where my family is from, and I get my special day today. I can't even explain how amazing this feels. We've got yeah, let me see the spread. Yeah, this is pretty good. 
Yeah, this is Go ahead and grab it. Yeah. The conference was so much fun. I mean, who gets to listen to a, an anthem and eat goat cheese and play soccer in the middle of a beautiful meadow in, in the middle of Sweden? You, you have to pinch yourself. Who gets to do this? Who gets to experience this? And yet, here we are. Okay, guys, we're looking for Ingeborg. It's a person? Yes. Okay. Ingeborg? Ingeborg? That way. This way? That way. Thank you. Talk, talk. talk. Is this supposed to look like that, Mods? Because <laughs> that doesn't look so good. Oh, there's like a whole stage. Do you think she's in this red building? Hey. What? We found her. Yes. <laughs> Hi. 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 Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Where are we? You're in Oviken uh, at our uh, local park, dance park, and we're trying to um, restore the place where you dance. Can we help? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we're moving this, uh, these ones up to the corner there. Okay. Uh, if you make a line, we can... Okay. okay, okay. Sounds good. I'm actually a carpenter by trade, so oh, I Oh, you're ready to dig in the, over there, then. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, get those guns out, girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Ingeborg, you put us right to work. I don't know if that's Swedish mentality or just country mentality, because we're out in the country, and I'm used to that. I'm all for it. I'll jump right in and do it. That's just teamwork. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Something I'm used to in a kitchen. My first day of work, they were like, here's the thing of vegetables, start cutting. And I'm like, okay, got it. So I think it's good. Let's get going. I feel like my main job was. <laughs> I don't have my tool belt on. Nice work, <laughs> you know what's funny is that's actually the first thing I ever did on a construction job. And now, over here, it's the first thing I ever did in Swedish construction, so that's kind of fun. Let's head in. Hello. Hey. Hi. Uh, we're looking for Sam. Sam? Yeah. Yes. He works upstairs. 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 Okay. Let's go get him. Thank you. I don't know if he's a hermit or if he lives in the woods or if he lives, you know, there's no telling what he does. They said we're going to eat some good food, which is fine. That's perfect for me. Sam? Hello. Hello. Hey, Sam. Going? Hi, guys. Hey. How are you? Hi. Oh, we've been hey. searching for hey. you. Sam. Hi, Sam. Sam. Nice hey. to meet you. Thank you. Nice what? to meet you too, you... guys. Sam was not what I expected. For some reason, I was expecting like an older gentleman who lived alone in a cabin or something, hunting the Loch Ness equivalent. I don't know why we were expecting that, but he seems really hip and cool. Pulling off that flower shirt, I couldn't pull it off. So, this is a part of the of the community's house. Um, uh, we are here working about 20 persons. Uh, we are working with the companies, private companies in this uh, community. Okay. Uh, and I'm helping them to get like workers, the right person to the right job. Uh oh. That's my job. I think Kamun is maybe something like a county or a town. It's a lot of times uh, that I'm uh, outside with the companies and I'm talking with them. I actually, I still don't understand what Sam's job is. <laughs> We'd love to learn more about your, your college. Yes, let's go. Hi. Right. Hello. Hello. Chris, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What are you working on? We want uh, more to move into this uh, community, so um, I'm make sure that uh, they can live where, here. I'm ready to move here. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. here. Talk to me and I'll fix you the house. All right. Yeah. Uh, bring it All right. On. From what I'm learning about Sweden, it seems like more and more the younger generation is moving south or trying to move to big cities. So this whole building and all of you are trying to attract more people to live here, to find exactly. jobs here, homes, trying to rebuild your community. Exactly. Nice. Cool. I think that's fantastic. That's, that's awesome. Cool. The idea of this community center to revitalize, to bring in employment and housing and, and trying to make it an attractive place for people to live, I think it's a great idea. 
So have you seen the monster in the, in the water? Oh, we know the people who saw about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we know I saw people it. that have yeah. seen it. But yeah, Sam, you've seen, seen it. it. Yes, I'm going to tell you about that later. Oh. oh. You're going to hear a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay. okay. I didn't learn much new about the monster, except that Sam has seen it. So I can't wait to hear his story, and I think we might have some tips on how to find this guy or girl. All right, guys, let's go home to me. Ah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Thanks. Thank you. 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 An actual house that people live in here in Sweden. Uh, so I think it's going to be really nice just to have that real experience of uh, Swedish life. This is my living room. Oh, look at that view. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's Josef's favorite room. <laughs> is this Josef right here? Yeah, that's Josef. Oh, right. Yes. And where's he at right now? He's with his mom no, right now. He's coming later. Okay. Yes. And it's the kitchen. Oh, I love this kitchen. Very cute. Do you have a lot of big dinner parties? No, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I have a big family. Okay. Uh, what brought you to this community? Uh, in the beginning, I we uh, we was uh, living in a migration house here, oh. and uh, then after about six or seven months, they moved us to another place, and I was like, no, I, I don't want to move. I like just started to like the place, and I like I just start to know the people here, and uh, I like it. And uh, when I get my permission to stay in Sweden, I moved here. So you immigrated to Sweden? How yeah. long ago? It was uh, about five years ago. Oh, wow. From where? Uh, Syria. Syria. Oh, wow. So in five years, you've learned to speak Swedish as well as you do. I, I couldn't even tell that you, yeah. that you weren't a native speaker. The way you speak. I got a job after three months. Uh, I was in like, an SFE school. They call it uh, SFE. It's like when you want to learn the Swedish language. Uh, I was there like about three months and I get my diploma and I was like just the first thing I'm gonna do like it's search for a job and just started the job three months after. Wow, that's so impressive. I want, I want to pay back everything and I want to help the other people who have helped me mm -hmm. to get here. Oh. I am incredibly impressed by Sam. I'm humbled to be staying in his home. It's actually kind of an emotional thing that this person would give so selflessly. So you're kind of on the same journey we've been on. Yeah. We, we all of our all of our ancestors left Sweden to go to America. You're starting your own journey by coming to Sweden. Yes. That's great. It's beautiful. I love how Sam's writing his own history. He came from a situation that none of us can even imagine. So it was like my dream to own a house, and it was like I saw this house almost like how it is. You know, I have my own guard and like that. It's just amazing seeing it. This guy's only 25 five years old. He's a remarkable young man. He, uh, you know, I feel like he's a he's kind of an example of, of, of how how a diamond's made. You know, you get this coal and it just crushes that diamond and it just creates a diamond. And I feel like that's what happened to him. Uh, this is my favorite place, and we are going to do the food right there. Do you see the right the yeah, yeah, yeah. red houses? Yeah. Oh, cool. We're gonna move there and make the dinner. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's, do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Little I know about wrong or right Don't know much about the things we need And things we do for love Oh, I know that I belong here Though I don't know where I stand I'm an alien It's so beautiful so I don't know where I am Yet it feels so familiar And here's the rest of the family huh? Hello! Oh, <laughs> to be able to stay with a family I really want to start a family really soon and to just see how they are raising their children in this beautiful place is just awe-inspiring. So this is where you're going to sleep tonight. Two gets to um, uh, spend the night in Lisa's room and three of you are going to the caravan. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I have a feeling the girls are going camping. Yeah. <laughs> You're free to choose whom. So, all right. Let's go. Here we go. Ooh. Uh huh. We're home for the night. Ooh. Oh, there's. <gasps> That's amazing. So cute. I love oh, it. Oh, Republican. 
the infant. Oh, it's got what was on the flag. Yeah. Oh. I think life out here in the north in the country is just beautiful. This is their little summer stuga. It's a mobile summer stuga. <laughs> it seems safe and quiet and beautiful. Okay. How do you think the boys' room looks? Adorable. I hope it's adorable. Just around the corner. <laughs> this will be your. <laughs> yours oh, for the night. Oh, it's one over there and one over there. <laughs> The sleeping quarters is, is funny. It's funny. I'll give it that. I'm pirate princess. I wasn't expecting to be a pirate princess, but I do portray a pirate sometimes. She's got trucks, man. We could play with that. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, not quite my style. <laughs> You're young. You can climb better. How's, how's that figure in? I hope I don't break it. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Look at this. That's pretty strong, though, isn't it? Yeah, well. You know, I do feel guilty, though, about the little girl taking her room, so where is she going to be? Oh, boy. And this is the kind boy. of thing I can do all day long, is get into bed. <laughs> Today, we're going to make... Fall apart? Yeah. Okay. okay. That's <laughs> Some pasta, macaroni. Yes. It should be ready in no time. A nice, quick, yeah. fast meal. Yeah. And I some... So. For busy lives. Yeah. My first reaction when I saw the sausage was just, what do you, what do you do with it? You just got showing his, oh my gosh, okay, man. He's hot. He Mama, not Anna, will ya in the hall? Oh, let's not chop off any fingers, okay? Yeah. yeah. That's the last thing we need. Thanks, guys. <laughs> what was it called again? For the quarter. 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 Right by the water. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. You like it? Yes, yes. thank you. It's awesome. It's a great place yes. to barbecue. Yeah. There's your house right there, right? Eh? Yeah. Of course, it's like right there. Yeah. You know, that, not that one. It. It's like it right the most to the right. Nice. Oh, look there. Hey. That's Yusuf and Rebecca <laughs> and my friend Sam. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. Sam was such a lovely man. We met a, 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 a stranger a few hours ago. And uh, here we are just a few hours later, you know, friends, hanging out, having, having a barbecue, getting to meet Rebecca and Yosef and his, his friend, Sam. You want to help me barbecue? You want to help me do this? <laughs> Not quite yet. Not yet. <laughs> I think that's the beauty of life, isn't it? That when you take the time to get to know people, you usually become friends. Ooh, there's a well done one. Yeah. <laughs> Masterful. Look at him go. Yeah, right in his element. Yusuf and I made friends pretty quickly. Uh, Yusuf kept just coming over and grabbing my hand and leading me around to all kinds of interesting places that he wanted to show me. Oh, there you go. Even though we didn't right. understand fully each other's words, we understood each other. I've been dying to ask this since we got here. <laughs> All day long we've been trying to find the monster and learn about the monster. And Sam told us he's seen the monster. This monster, we have it. The water. We watch together. Oh, oh yes. Together. Yes. Oh, oh we I have to. Please tell about us this. the story. We, we saw it. Right here. Not here. Oh. It was, uh, it was in, in this water. It was in this lake. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like maybe about uh, two or three kilometers from here. Mm. We was on a boat. And we just start to talk about the monster, you know, Stuhu Yuret. Yes, and it was like, no, I don't think about it. Everyone talking about it. And we was like, oh, no, so I don't know, it's not real, and something like that. And we was like, standing and fishing, and it was like, the boat just start to move. I was like, uh, is it any boats in, on, the, on, the, on the lake? And it was like, no, there is no boats. And it was like, 
Oh, there, by there. It was like something like it's getting up like that by the water and getting down. And it was a huge. <laughs> no it was way. a huge. What color? Black. 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 Yeah. And when I was taking up my phone and I'm gonna take pictures or something like that, it was like too late. It's like, like just gone. So the, the so, legend of the monster continues. You're yes. saying that there's yes. really a monster yes. out there. And it was not a fish. Definitely not. It was like very no. huge. <laughs> um, I, I'd like to know how big the fish get in this lake. It could be a fish, but they see, I mean, they're, they're fishermen. They know what they're doing. So if they saw a giant monster thing, who am I to judge them? Cheers for you guys. Bye. Thank you for being here. It's and it's a pleasure day. for me to get to know you. Oh. Squat. 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 Good. Well, I was born in a small town And I live in a small town <laughs> <laughs> My hands are all like this I eat mac and cheese and hot dogs all the time There's Macaroner? Macarooner Macarooner uh -huh. It's like telephone number Macarooner <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That was Thank real good. Know. That's about the only time I pronounced the word right. <laughs> <laughs> did you grow up here? Yeah, I did. Yeah. How was it growing up here? Freedom, um, lots of space, and the nature was your playground. Yeah. yeah. So uh, small, no worries. Mm -hmm. I want to. I would like to raise my family in a place like this. Mm -hmm. Life is easy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is that <laughs> the moose <laughs> eat your <laughs> vegetables or something. Oh, <laughs> I mean, there's no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Swedish problem. Yeah. <laughs> moose eat my vegetable garden. <laughs> we can always yeah. solve that problem by eating the moose. Yeah. <laughs> we do that every year. Have a better one. So how do you feel being home? It's nice to be home. It's like it's it's a mix of being so excited and at peace. And that those are like two conflicting feelings. I can't stop thinking that my grandma's looking through my eyes. Yeah. And that she's she's experiencing this through me. I I still have a lot of questions about my connection here. But I feel as though learning more, I'm just going to be an emotional wreck. I mean, I, I feel more at peace knowing that I have, I have this region to kind of call my own, but I still want to know so much more. It's like rain. Winnipeg is the biggest small town you've ever been to. It doesn't take more than 15, 20 minutes to get from one point to another point. I, I, I love Canada. I will probably always live in Canada. After my grandfather passed away, my grandmother moved in with us and purchased this cottage as a place for her to go in the summers. And I spent a lot of childhood summers out here with grandma. Everything I know about my Swedish history came from my grandmother. Oh, hi, Roxy. We had this everyday relationship. It wasn't just you go to grandma's house to see her every once in a while. She was, she was there for every moment of, of our lives, the, the good and the bad. Brit's here. I think we lost Roxy to the car. <laughs> hi. Her passing really reminded me of the importance of family. And family comes first. Mama. So my father's family, his siblings and their families still come to this cabin to come together on a regular basis. It's our way of feeling connected to her. And everywhere you go in the cabin, you see pieces of Sweden that were hers. And I wish I could just have her here so I could be like, where did you get this? What's the story behind this? Tell me more. 
My grandmother, and I'm sure tons of people have heard this, but they would always joke that, oh, we're related to royalty. You never know. Maybe we are. Maybe we're not. Maybe I'm related to a band of criminals. You don't know. Um, so what am I looking forward to learning? Anything and everything I can possibly grab onto and put in here. I'm, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what's in this box. <laughs> I can't wait to say their names. And I can't wait to feel the appreciation of everything that they built and did so that I can live the life that I live. Dear Brittany, Anna walked into tiny Farilla village and everything seemed to stop. Men froze and stared. Women may have glared and villager Pear knew he had to have her. Anna was Swedish, but after a few years in New York City, her natural good looks had been complemented by some of the sophisticated allure that only big city girls possess. And as she returned home to Farilla, Pear stepped up as a man among boys. He stopped her roving eye and won her heart. My grandmother was, she, she was a looker too. She was a looker. <laughs> Pear's self-confident gaze had roots three centuries back, a robust history full of military men with a strong sense of self and the women who loved them. Henrik Christian Breuer was the patriarch, born 1683 in Stockholm. My story starts with somebody born in 1683. Those are some serious, serious Swedish roots. His military career started in 1701. He made second lieutenant in 1709 and fought in King Carl XII's historic loss at the Battle of Poltava. Henrik spent the next 13 torturous years as a prisoner of war. 13 years as a prisoner of war. That's a third of my life spent behind bars. When he finally returned home in 1722, he was quickly promoted to lieutenant and transferred to Jamtland Regiment. That's how he ended up here in Oviken. It's so... Unreal to think that he was here at one point after what he must have went through to be able to come home here and just look over the trees and the fields and the, the lake. I can't believe I get to see it too. Part of me hopes he can see it through me too. Here he settles and marries Marta Regina Gillenspar, a captain's daughter and descendant of Sweden's regent of regents, Gustav Vasa. <laughs> that is crazy. My grandma always said we were related to royalty. <laughs> we thought it was a joke. <laughs> I think she thought it was a joke. <laughs> Grandma, if you can hear me right now, you're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's insane. Their son, Nils, falls into an excruciating coincidence. Like his father, he is captured in a historic battle, Pomerania 1759. Like his father, he serves 13 years as prisoner of war, and just like his father, Nils survives as a hero. Two of them were prisoners of war for 13 years. It's an absolute miracle that I exist. 
the generations to come were full of soldiers' daughters marrying soldiers, until a girl named Brita was born out of wedlock in 1839. Brita remarries Per, son of a soldier who also enlists. He takes a new soldier surname by custom, choosing Wahlberg after his home village Bala in Ferla. Per and Brita name their son Per Wahlberg in 1866. Wahlberg is my grandma, my grandma Eileen's family. <laughs> so this is my grandma's side. This is that connection. The rare miracle also broke into the village of Farala. A baby is born, just two pounds, 16 ounces, or 1.36 kilos, in 1876. She's rushed to the priest for a quick christening before dying like so many other infants back then. They didn't even have hope enough to give her a middle name. But then she doesn't die, proving her will to live. Anna grows to become a vibrant young woman eager to seize the world. At 19, she boards a ship for New York on her own. There's an article here Anna Tuff will be 90 years old. With the confidence of being 19, she arrived 71 years ago in New York as a Swedish immigrant. She had four dollars left in her purse. I spent it for a hat with feathers, she chuckled, and took off my babushka. She ambitiously finds work at the Washington Roebling Mansion built in Trenton, New Jersey, for one of New York City's most powerful families. In 1900, she returns to Sweden due to an illness of one of her sisters in Farala. I, I heard that she had come back, but I didn't know why. I, I think the rumor was she'd come back for a boyfriend she had left, or she had left to run away from a boyfriend, and, but she came back for family because her sister was sick. By then, Per Wahlberg was a widower without children, a simple farmer with the power of the earth in his blood. Perhaps his presence seemed grounding to Anna Fried. Per must have seemed worlds away from the New York City playboys she had left behind. But his intention was clear. In October of 1902, they marry in Farala and have a daughter. They were a good looking couple. Look at them. I can see how she settled down and how he just, that was it. He's that one, her, I want her. <laughs> Anna is pregnant again, just before Christmas in 1911, when one of her sons shouts, Papa is coming home, but I think he is sleeping. She rushes out to his carriage and finds her tough 45-year-old husband, Pear, still at the reins, but dead of a heart attack. His horses had fought their way home. Anna had their son after Pear's death and would go on to live a long and rich life. But the kind of loving home she and Pear shared comes maybe once in a lifetime. Their love was passed down through their daughter, Evelyn, and to her daughter, Eileen. You are far more. <laughs> so at my wedding, I wore four wedding bands from the women in my life, including Evelyn's wedding ring and my grandma Eileen's as a symbol of their love. And I can only hope <laughs> to live in love as they have. <laughs> now, after, after learning more about my story, I just feel as though I'm more ready to start that chapter of my life and start my own family and carry on the traditions. It seems as though there's a lot of love and happiness. I just want to keep that going. There's just so much going on in my head right now. But I feel calm. It's like... It's like I've acknowledged them. But I haven't gone full circle yet. 
There's still a piece missing, and I need to win this to meet my living relatives, the ones who are still here. I know my past, but I want to know my now. Don't know much about history. Don't know much biology. Don't know much about a science book. Don't know much about the French I took. Hello. Hello. Hi. Turning 15 in Sweden is the time when a teenager gets to drive a moped. Traditionally, a very important day in a young, mostly man's life. And the first thing you do is to tamper with the engine to make it more powerful. Go faster. Show off. Pimp it up. <laughs> Be the king of the neighborhood. When Carl XII turned 15 in 1697, he didn't get a moped to drive. He was placed on the throne to run the kingdom. He had a well-trained army and no adult around to tell him what to do or don't. He was probably even happier when the neighbors declared war because they didn't understand the mind of a 15-year-old boy. They thought this young, unexperienced king was a chance for them to take revenge, take back everything they lost during the last 100 years. But for Carl XII, this was the invitation for the adventure he'd been longing for. So he sat up on his horse, went to war, and he crushes them. And somewhere here, someone should have told him maybe it's time to go home, go to college, find a girl, settle down. But no one did. He wanted to try his luck. And in 1709, it all ended with a catastrophic defeat at the Battle of Pultava. The whole Swedish army was either killed or captured. Carl XII managed to escape to Turkey, where he spent five years as a refugee. And when he finally returned to Sweden, Sweden was a country in a miserable state. Somehow, he managed to get together what was left of men in Sweden, create an army, attack Norway, and get shot in the head. The tragic aftermath of this story takes place here in Jämtland. The Swedish general, Armfeldt, looking a bit like Brian May in Queen, the guitarist, <laughs> although not the same successful career, I'm afraid. He was leading the northern division of the Swedish army in an attack on Trondheim, a Norwegian city across the mountains. When he gets the news about Carl XII's death, he decides to pull back his 6,000 soldiers across the mountains, dividing the two countries. This is in Christmas, 1718. Already the first night is a catastrophe. The soldiers are trying to make campfires with whatever they could find, but in the morning, there are hundreds of soldiers found frozen to death around the extinguished campfires. Others have died where they stood, trying to get some shelter from the wind or some warmth from each other. Now they are like frozen statues that fall to the ground when touched. It takes another week for what's left of the army to cross the mountains. By then, 3,000 soldiers have died in the blizzard. And actually, Britney's relative could have been one of them, except he was one of the soldiers that got imprisoned in Poltava in Russia. He got lucky. Otherwise, he probably would have been one of the soldiers that froze to death up in the mountains. Once they got down on the Swedish side, the field surgeons filled barrel after barrel with hands and feet that had to be cut off. And that was the end of the proud army from Carl XII, and also the end of Sweden's time as a great power. It is a very interesting and tragic story yeah. of him. He was so young, and uh, yeah. it was a stray bullet that knocked oh, him yeah. in the head. Yeah. Yeah. I think that Carl XII is really cool. Being nearby such a tragic event like that, the area of that is pretty heavy. There's a, that's a lot of suffering and death, and it's brutal, dying from the cold. I don't know many 15-year-olds that I would trust to run a country, and I definitely would have been a horrible ruler at 15.
Oh, they're warming All up right. over there. How cute! So, this is our clubhouse and uh, uh, soccer club. Okay. Uh, and we have an important game tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you get to help. All, All right. right. Yeah. So we're going to go find Regina. Let's go. This community is amazing. Everybody seems to come together over every part of life. Hi. Hi, hi. Including football. <laughs> I wonder if some of you want to coach the team. I've never played soccer, but I think it sounds fun to go out and play with the kids. Sure. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll have to learn on the fly. But, uh... <laughs> Pretty simple. I like the cooking and the hot dogs okay, and the selling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you what you are Okay. Into. All right. Let's go. All right. All right. I got chosen to be the coach. Hi, I'm Jen. Hi, Hi. Mats. So what do we have to do? Do they speak much uh, English? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. So what should we say? But we need to know the word in Swedish. Job. Yeah, exactly. Job. Job. Pass. Pass. You know? Yeah, yeah. Pass. And important is to fight and have fun. Fight and have fun. Yeah, precisely. Yeah. And what was good job again? Bra jobbat. Bra bra jobbat. Ja, exactly. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Oh boy, I forgot. <laughs> Samba. Yeah, it was really fun to coach. I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh oh, back up. The language barrier was a little tough to overcome. It was just so fun and so cute to see the kids going all out and enjoying. I was really just trying to make sure that the kids had fun and knew that I was cheering them on. What is that called? The kiosk. 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 Like kiosk. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what yeah. It is. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm up to working in the kiosk. Uh, I've never done that before. And we're going to be doing food, and we're going to do it fast, and we have to do the money. And I'm not sure I can keep up. Uh, Katie is great in charge, though. She's a professional at such things, so I'm going to take orders from Katie. What are these? Dam sugare. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Why do you call it a vacuum cleaner? I guess they, they look like the old vacuum cleaner. Oh, I see with the hose. Yeah. And then it would come along uh -huh. the floor like this. Yeah. yeah. So dam sugare. I love the dum sugare. I had two. <laughs> Horse milk bread. Yeah. Hot dogs. Easy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Check this out. What? What's happening? What's Mott doing? It's one of my favorite places to be. Soccer practice. Soccer yeah, yeah. practice. Soccer man. We walked up and, you know, immediately I got excited. This is my element. I, you know, growing up, I played football my whole life. Team. Are you coaching some football? I am doing my best. How's your team doing? Um, they're doing okay. They're doing okay? Yeah. Are you guys having fun? Is this fun? Give me some right here. I think high fives and cheering and getting excited is universal. Kids love that. They warm up to that. Let's go! So if you're happy and you're cheering for them, it doesn't really matter what, what language you speak. Go, 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 When I first heard we were going to have to help sell in the shiosk, I was really excited. Brought me back to my working days in Indiana. Hey, hey. Okay. It was really fun, and it was fun interacting with the community. Yep. The line was really long, but it wasn't hectic. I had Ule, my little helper, just in case I got a little mixed up. But I think I did pretty well, and I think I did well with Rob, and he did a good job. This one? Yeah. Oh! That girl is awesome. She's she really our goalie right there. Hey, that's our goalie. Oh, so cool. She bit the dirt. 
Red team took a big hit tonight. They fought hard, but in the end, blue team overcame. Congratulations. And it was Thank all you. thanks to your coaching, right? Uh, you know, probably. I tried, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Woo! <laughs> I love this. You know, this is a world thing, right? Anytime you get away from the city, you come into these small towns, and all of a sudden everybody gets along, everybody knows each other. Check out the flaws. Man, that's fast. You know, this feels like home in so many ways. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one coming right here. Look at this one. <laughs> this small town life is absolutely for me. It kind of reminds me of home. Oh, yeah. Since you're a cowgirl. There you go. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's that's good. Good. I miss my family. I do. Miss my kids. Yeah. Thank you. We'll Thank see you. you. The small town life here in Sweden is amazing. You know, you have a little soccer game and every all the kids know each other and the parents all know each other. It makes you kind of want to live out here and kind of change your pace a little bit, slow down, and not take things for granted so much. Enligt isländska källor så befolkades Jämtland så sent som på 800-talet. Men väl hitkomna kunde de inflyttade Jämtarna leva i allsjöns ro helt för sig själva i 300 år. Ända fram till norrmännen erövrade området krävde skatt men i övrigt fick Jämtarna fortsatt mycket självständighet. Andra bullar blev det efter freden i Brömsebro 1645 då Jämtarna blev ofrivilliga svenska undersåtar. Ofta på tvärs mot den svenska överhetens påbud och krav. Riktigt illa gick det 1677 då en präst och tolv bönder avrättades för oörsamhet mot den svenska kronan. Men sedan dess så har assimileringen väl gått lugnare till. Hoppas jag. Fram till våra dagar åtminstone. Men nu har det blivit dags för lagtävling. Tre lag med tre amerikaner i varje. The stakes are so high today. More than anything, I want my special day that I haven't had yet. So I need to stay in the competition. I really want it to be not physical because I'm not a physical person, but I love mind games. I love puzzles. I love trivia. Oh, a good challenge for me would be building stuff or I could tackle somebody or eat, eat, have a hamburger eating contest. I'd do pretty good, you know. You know, this beautiful landscape of Jämtland might seem peaceful, but since 1963, it has its own Republican army, the JRA, formed as a reaction against all kind of centralist plans and stupid decisions made by politicians far away. Although dealing with real issues, the JRA is a humorous and peaceful organization. Less peaceful, maybe, but almost as important to the identity of Jämtland is the Great Lake Monster, living in the lake right behind you. It's been um, uh, observed already in the 17th century. During the 19th century, giant traps were made to try to capture it. In 1985, the monster was declared a protected species, a protection it later lost again due to lack of evidence, although regularly captured on shaky film and blurred photos. In today's challenge, you need to tame that monster to stay in Alt for Sverige. Good news is nobody leaves today. Bad news is the losing team will have to face each other again in an individual challenge where only the winner gets to stay. Okay, good luck. I den här utmaningen tävlar deltagarna i tre lag. De har tio minuter på sig att med hjälp av en magnetisk minikran och varsitt reglage fånga upp så många båtar de kan och placera dem i en korg. I det förlorande laget är det sedan två som tvingas lämna efter nästa veckas utslagstävling. I think that you should be the turner. Okay. Okay. You'd be the boom. The boom. Yeah. Boom daddy. I'm now boom daddy. <laughs> All right. I like this challenge. This is hand and eye coordination. 
Everybody in our group is either an artist or a blacksmith used to working with their hands, so I think we're going to do very well. I mean, the one in the middle, all we need to know is the one in the middle is our, our crane. Yeah. I think the strength of our team is that um, we're an ambitious group of people. I also think that we have experience. We were in another challenge together with some others as a team, and we won. So we've got that confidence behind us to carry us through this one. I'm doing the up and the down and the holding of the button yeah, I'll with the magnet. I'll do the arm. Okay. okay. I think we picked the right roles for each one of us. Uh, Katie is a chef. She gives good direction. I'm a great listener, and we're all great with uh, hand-eye coordination. We just want to keep it calm. We want to keep it steady. All right? Yes, chef. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes, chef. Perfect. Okay. But I think we're going to win. I think we'll do really well. I think we I have think a good, good. team. Yeah. We yeah. so have this. Yeah. Me. Her. Yeah. 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 So, are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Yes. We're ready. Yeah. Claude up. Fatty up. Go. Okay. Ready to come my way? Go higher. What's that? Go higher? Sorry. What up? Oh, oh. Man, you got up and down. Oh, okay. okay. There we go. The beginning was really rough for us because we didn't know which way the handles turned. I thought I was going to be the one going up and down, but we got our joysticks confused. It's me. Oh, oh up over it. Oh, yeah, right there. Keep going, keep going. Okay, stop. Okay, come. Hey, Brittany, over. Down, down. Melissa, down. Brittany, over. Run the other way, other way, other way, other way. A little bit further down, Melissa. It's a very simple game. It's picking up magnets and moving them to a net, but it's easy to get distracted. You kind of get focused on your own assignment. Hope it. You have to lower it. Oh, All right. Yeah, we're doing good. We're going to get the hang of this thing. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay, up. Okay, Melissa, go further out, further out. Boom, one. Okay, one down. Okay. Okay, nice. Slow and steady. Okay, good. Yeah. Down, Penny. Okay, we got to get closer to the basket. Oops, shit. Boom, we got one. Okay, go, 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 go. Forward, further, 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 forward. Okay, okay, back up. This is hard. All right, hold on. Yeah, let's okay, go over okay, here. Okay, okay. Let's get over here and just get a good one. Ah. Let me, let me lift it up above it. Okay. Yeah. Rob, don't do anything. Here we go. Okay. All right, now. Right good. Yeah. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, other way, other way, other way. Other way. Oh, oh. Go. Good job. There you go. go. Alright, pick it up, pick it okay. up, pick it up, 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 up. There you go. Go. Take it down, 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 take it down. There you go. Nice. Hey, yes, okay. 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 Down a bit. Okay. The other way. Um, you gotta get closer for it. Uh, oh, it's okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you. Okay, it's okay. The way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Alright. Okay. okay. on the other stupid one. Yeah, good. Raise it okay, lower. Rob, lower it slightly. Great. Fuck, this is hard. It was very difficult to get the boats. It, it, Got it. Go. I think by the half time, we only had two boats in, but then we worked together to get a system. There you yes. go. Okay. Good. And then it was going faster. We're trying to beat the clock. We're trying to get it very fast. Okay, Rob, lower it slightly. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good. Down, down, down. Go on up. Go another way. Yes. Okay. Okay, go over here. If we lose this challenge, two of us are gonna go home. And that is a big thing that's on the line. Don't drop it. Don't. Oh! <laughs> drop it down, down, down. Okay, great. Lower it. Yeah, baby. Oh, oh shit. No. Okay. Woo! <laughs> hey, one more. Great, one more. Oh, oh yeah. All right, get him. Yes. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Here 
Oh, okay, it's okay. We, we did, did the best, best we could do. Yeah. It was a lot more challenging than I would have thought. I, I don't, I don't feel good. I, I have this pit in my stomach, like we didn't do good enough. Whew. That was a lot harder than we see. That was a lot harder. <laughs> I want to win this challenge so much with everything because I would love to have that feeling of being safe. I don't want to have an individual challenge again. Good job, guys. Good yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever happens, I'm proud of us. Yeah. I think it went pretty well. It's hard to say because I don't know what the other groups did. If we are beaten, then I think they earned it because it would take a lot of skill to get a better score than we did, I think. Okay. Are we ready for the results? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Blue team, you managed to catch seven boats. Black team, you caught 12 boats. Wow. Best today. Nice. That's fair, black team. And yellow team. You caught 10 boats. So blue team, you will have to meet again in an individual challenge to decide which two of you are going home next week. Losing never feels good, but uh, I'm gonna take a deep breath and go back to doing the very best I can. That's all we can do. I haven't been able to find the answers I came here to get. So if I leave before that, I'll feel like massive failure has happened. And then I'll let my entire family down at home. Don't cry for me, Twinkie. <laughs> I'm really close to Brittany and Missy at this point, and so the thought of either of them going home is, makes me sick to my stomach. Why are you crying? You're safe. <laughs> I want to win so badly, but winning means that Melissa doesn't get her special day. To go up against somebody that I just respect so much and want to spend more time with sucks. If your forefathers never would have left, maybe you would be Swedish farmers today. There's a sign that we're gonna get dirty. The smell of the pig house is nothing you wanna smell again. It's just mud, smelly mud. I'm in my element here. I love it. I overcame 200 years of tragedy and really bad, terrible things. We know two people are going home and I might be one of them. Stu, how do you that? The Storger Jubert? Stu, how do you that? Stu, Stuart, her or you that? Stuart, her. Stuart, her. Stuart, her. Stuart, her. Stuart, her.